For this lesson, we're going to create two animation motion paths. One to view the outside of your home and one to do a walkthrough of your home. We're going to eliminate the title block by simply back dragging, hitting delete, and closing your tool palette. We're going to go to a top view and we're going to select wireframe. The first path we're going to do underneath the line, you'll see spline. I'm going to start here by moving into my home at kind of a wiggle. Going into my front door, going into my bathroom, viewing my bathroom, coming back out of my bathroom, and going around my kitchen. And every time I left click, I'm leaving a grip or a curve. I'm going to come back and look at my house at this corner and stop and look at the window. I'm going to select enter. The only area is going to be about here where the camera is going to look off into the distance. Splines are very random, but also very adjustable. I'm going to go into a 3D orbit and I'm going to select my spline and select move. And then randomly, I'm going to click my base point out here in the open and drag straight up about what I would consider eye level. So you can see the path that I'm going to follow is here, once again through my bathroom into my kitchen, out and stare at that window. I'm going to go back to a top view and create a second path. The second path, I'm going to grab a circle and I'm going to start right at the midpoint of my roof and drag out fairly large. You could still use a spline for this, which is totally acceptable. This will give a consistent view of everything around my home. I'm going to select 3D Orbit and you can see it's focusing on the roof. I'm going to go to Southeast Isometric View. And I'm going to go to my visual styles, realistic. I'm going to now go to my render tab and select animation motion path. I'm going to link the camera to the path. In this case, first, the spline. And call it path one. The target, I'm not going to link the camera to a specific target, but yet a path. And that path is going to be my spline again. Path two, okay. The duration, I'm gonna select 10 seconds, just for a preview, and select preview. You can see, going into my front door at a wiggle, going into my bathroom, turning around, going into my kitchen, and turning around. Coming back out and staring at my window. I'm going to close the preview and cancel. In this manner, there are needs for adjustment. Obviously, in my bathroom, if I'm a human being, and going back to the home tab and going to 3D orbit, there may be needs to turn off the roof, left click and going back to a 3D orbit and viewing the spline within the bathroom. If I'm not able to see or don't have enough time to kind of visualize what's in there, I can always adjust the spline by clicking on the spline and dragging the grips. And I can view this then, those two grips, by means of view down towards the counter, towards the toilet, back up, then around and then back out. If I select the after I turn my roof back on, I can go back to the render and try it again by selecting the path, the path. Link target to the path, path two, 10 seconds, and preview. And you'll be able to see 
wiggling back through my door, and those two grips adjusted, I can now see down and come back up, obviously creating a longer than 10 second video. We would be able to slow it down a little bit more or back the spline up. For this purpose, I'm going to select cancel. I'm now going to go back to the southeast isometric. And I'm going to go back to the render animation motion path. And this time, link camera to the path of the circle. And still path one for a preview. The target, I'm going to link instead of the path, this time to a point. If I kept it to a path, it would just follow the circle and would not view anything. If I select point and select the top or any place along my structure, I could select this corner and go to OK and Preview. And it's always going to focus on that corner. The only thing I didn't do was change the duration. We'll go 10 seconds again as a preview. And you can see it's always going to focus on that corner that I selected. If I made the circle bigger, it would be able to view the whole outside a little bit better. Close. When you find that the video has worked for you, you can select OK for the video and actually save it as. A Windows Media Video. You could also save it as an AVI or an MPG. After you're done, please create a video and upload it to Canvas. I'm going to select Cancel, and this ends this lesson on your animation motion path.